It's almost back to school season and some parents have shared with me how they and their children are uneasy about this whole process of students going back to school and taking in-person classes because of the coronavirus delta variant. If you are a parent who has children in elementary school or middle school or high school or college and you would like to pray about these things or you are a student who is in elementary school, middle school, high school or college or you are a teacher, a school administrator, or a college professor who would like to pray with me about this, then keep watching. Friends, welcome back to my channel. This channel is all about prayer. Here you're going to find prayers on specific issues, prayer tips, videos that will help you fall into a deep, sweet sleep, relax you, help you as you pray, or even study your Bible or do any kind of study at all. Like I said before, we are going to be praying for our students who are going back for in-person classes, parents, teachers, school administrators, and college professors. Join me as we pray. I crafted these prayers for students, parents, teachers, college professors, and school administrators preparing to resume and go back to school soon. We'll be praying for our students in preschool, elementary, middle school, high school, and college, as well as parents, professors, and school administrators using the Bible, which is the word of God. Jesus says in Matthew eighteen nineteen that if two people shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them by our father in heaven so join your faith with mine as we pray for our students parents teachers college professors and school administrators lord thank you for this lovely time Thank you for the privilege of coming into your presence, for the privilege of being called your daughters and sons. Thank you for the powerful work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. He died and rose again so we can be reconciled to you. Immediately we accept him into our hearts to be our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Lord, you said when we pray, we must make sure that we do not have any sin or unforgiveness in our lives. I ask your Holy Spirit to search the heart of everyone listening now. Show each listener where there is sin, unforgiveness, bitterness, and bad feelings towards anyone. Help them to release them to you. Forgive and bless others. Lord, your word says in 2 Chronicles 7.14 that if your people who are called by your name will humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, then you will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Lord, we humble ourselves before you today. As we seek your face, forgive us, Father, for all the ways we have sinned against you and displeased you. We confess our wickedness before you and turn from it. You are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Please hear us, forgive us, and heal our land in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you have preserved each listener till this beautiful day. Thank you for your goodness, love, and blessings upon each person. Lord, you encouraged us in Hebrews 4.16 to approach your throne with confidence 
so that we can receive mercy from you and find grace to help us in our time of need. Lord, we commit every student into your able hands. We pray that you will envelope their hearts with your peace and calm. We pray against anxiety and fear over returning to school and college because of the coronavirus. We pray that your powerful angels will protect and guard each of them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we also pray for every listener who is a parent, teacher, college professor, or school administrator. We pray that you will calm their anxious thoughts and replace them with your peace. Your word says in James 1.5 that we should ask you for wisdom if we need it. We pray that you will give each of them wisdom on how best to keep their students, children, and themselves safe and healthy. We pray, dear Lord, that you will protect each of them and all the students from illnesses and diseases. We are praying against this COVID-19 Delta variant and any other variant out there. We pray that no student, parent, teacher, professor, or school administrator will fall ill from this horrible disease. We pray for any of them who already caught the virus, that you will stretch your healing hands over them in the name of Jesus. We come against this virus in their bodies and we bind it in Jesus' name. We break the power of the virus over each person right now in the name of Jesus. We declare that the coronavirus will not duplicate itself in any healthy cells. And if it has done so, O oh Lord, we command it to cease and desist. With the authority and power given to me by the Lord Jesus Christ, I destroy this virus in every cell it has entered and I neutralize its effect in the name of Jesus. Lord, we plead and apply the blood of Jesus Christ on each person's immune system and we command it to be strengthened. We command the lungs and respiratory tract to be strengthened in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for every student that you will give them understanding in every subject, project, and activity in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, against discouragement, depression, suicidal ideation, distraction, and hopelessness that may want to settle over them in the name of Jesus, we bind and cancel every plan of the evil one over them in Jesus' name. We pray that each of them will be hungry for you, seek you, and know you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that our students will be leaders and they will fulfill the purpose for which you have created them in their generation in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will bless each student, help them to thrive in their studies, enhance their creativity and giftings, and give them joy in learning in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the spirit of excellence and wisdom over each of them. Bless them, watch over them, keep them strong, and provide for their spiritual emotional and physical needs in the name of Jesus. We pray for each parent that they will not labor in vain over their children. We pray that you will bless and strengthen them and give them discernment as they help, 
care for and advise their children in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that according to your word in Philippians 4.19, you will provide for all their needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We pray that each parent will seek you and draw closer to you, particularly in these uncertain times, in Jesus' name. We pray against sleepless nights, insomnia, worry, and panic attacks. And we pray, Father, that you will heal, deliver, and set them free from these, in Jesus' name. We declare that each parent will cast all their worries and cares on you. When they lie down, they will experience a sweet, deep sleep, free from worry, anxiety, and panic attacks in the name of Jesus. We do not forget the parents who have chosen to homeschool. Guide them, Lord. Give them wisdom, patience, and grace as they teach their children in the name of Jesus. Help them not to be frustrated. And we pray that every moment of instruction will be rewarding and fulfilling to the parent and child in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for each teacher, college professor, and school administrator that you will reward them and bless them as they painstakingly prepare lessons for their students and administrate. Bless them with your strength, grace, patience, and perseverance. Help them to find fulfillment and joy in their jobs and in their calling as instructors and administrators in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will help them to seek you and draw closer to you. When they call on you, we pray that you will hear their prayers and answer in Jesus' name. Father, we come against every plan and strategy of the evil one at this time. We bind, cancel, and disallow them in the name of Jesus. We declare by faith that there will be no more school shootings or unrest for our students, parents, teachers, professors, and administrators in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will cover each person with the powerful blood of Jesus and protect them. Cover them with your mercy and compassion in the name of Jesus. Lord, you promised in your word in Isaiah 30, 19, that you will be very gracious to us at the sound of our cry. When you hear us, you will answer us. We pray that you will hear and answer our prayers now in the name of Jesus. To you alone belong the glory, majesty, dominion, and power. And by faith, we praise you for answered prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Friends, thank you for hanging out with me today as we pray these important prayers. I hope the prayers were able to calm your heart and give you much needed peace. God is in control. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, click that like icon so that I will know to bring you content similar to this. If you want to know whenever I upload new content, click that bell icon and share share with people you know who will be going back to school or people who are parents teachers school administrators or college professors who will be comforted by these prayers if you have a prayer request don't forget to leave it in the comments section and my team and i will be honored to pray for you i want to leave you a blessing before we go may the lord bless you may the lord keep you May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.
peace. See you in the next video.